Good afternoon. Today is Saturday. Just uh, I just loaded my video for the micarta. So today I'm just going to do a quick shave. Uh, I'm using a leftover uh, piece of Omega in my cup here today. So I'll let that soak for just a minute. Anyway, probably wondering, guy, what the hell happened to your spot? Well, I was uh, installing a sliding glass door yesterday with my uh, son-in-law, or uh, stepson rather, and uh, we took the thing out and replaced replaced it. Got it all screwed down, everything, all the trim put back up. We put the we put the uh, old door in the trailer, and uh, a sliding glass door has the frame and has flanges that you can, when you slide it into the opening, it hits those flanges and you just nail, nail it down from around there. Well, I taped them off because they're like just sheet metal, just sharp as a razor. Well, I didn't get it all taped off or something, and I walked by and I just slipped my thumb right across there. So, <clears throat> drove back and uh, went to the ER and they gave me nine stitches, <clears throat> which is uh, wonderful. Huh? So, uh, anyway, the only thing that really happened is they just kind of, kind of just opened up the skin. But when they sewed it, man, they sewed right into the meat and did all that stuff. And I was like, oh my God, wow. So... That turned out okay, and I got a prescription for nine Perco sets. So I took two, and I am really, really stoned, so if I am acting goofy, goofier than I usually do, and that's the reason for it. Uh, anyway, so um, I got home, and I turned on and I was watching uh, watching one of uh, James's well the last one James did with the uh, with the uh, gift he got from his sister the hats and stuff so I watched it and it's pretty much mellowed me out made me feel good that guy's my hero right so uh, anyway I'm just sitting here right now I gotta go take my bird out but I can't get my thumb through my gloves so my wife's gonna have to do that so Let's just uh, try to get a shave in here. Peter Frampton, remember this guy? The nurse was pretty cool. She's from Russia. Her name is uh, Betty. Changed her name to fit in and all that stuff. She was pretty much a fox. Bouncing Betty. So, uh, oh, I remember this. This reminds me of the seminary days. Hey, look, bubblegum. Things are looking up. Pain pills, bubblegum, Peter Frampton. If I were to get a shave in, son of a gun. <laughs> I also have a mail call. Got some wood in. Uh, for my scales. Many thanks, the guy says. I can't remember which one this is, but...
Yep, I've hurt myself quite a bit in the past. Slice this finger wide open, man. Also fell off the ladder, broke three ribs, jacked up my um, jacked up my shoulder, and uh, collapsed my lung. So that was fun. Ooh, man, check it out. <clears throat> this is the uh, what's this one called? The Coco Banana, something like that. But uh, I got two sets. So I got four pieces, six inches by two inches. Oh man, that's gonna look pretty. The next one I got, one of them looks like it's a five inch piece. I don't know why these guys take the crap out of this. I don't understand it. You know? If I keep from cutting my other damn thumb. Sweet bad. I know how to open this without messing up the wood. <whistles> I forgot the name of this one. I'm too stoned to remember it all. The only thing I don't like about it is the grain is uh, um, is open. It's got an open grain in this one. So, and in this one here. Oh my, 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 my. Can you guys see that? Ooh, pretty. Okay, I got, so I got a set for uh, one scale there, and this one here also. This is all really nice stuff, man. So, that's what's happening there. Alright, so, let's get it on, shall we? So we go to the 24-hour Walgreens by the hospital, Lutheran Hospital, up here in uh, Wheat Ridge. And they didn't have any Percocet there. They sent me all the way to 120th in Colorado uh, from 44th and Wadsworth. So you're talking about a drive. So but we had to go. I didn't want to wake up this morning to not have anything, you know. So, oh, man, I'm pretty stoned right now. Check it out. Check it out. This is the mentholated stuff. All right, today I'm going to use. Granddad's best. So <laughs> Wow. I don't want to touch myself with this thing. Well, I wonder if that was going to happen. 
I'm going to have to use the old double edge safety razor. That way I can live to shave another day. I don't like to use these, it just oh, doesn't fit my skin tight. Another day. I was thinking about that. Maybe I should shave slower. Because I have a tendency to do everything fast. It's a very non aggressive blade. Oh, I feel really good. Thumb feels like it's ready to pop though. Yeah, you know those sliding glass doors? I charge $550 to do them. I can do four in one day. And I got a guy to help me. And I just don't pay him anything really. I'll pay him 75 bucks. Which is pretty good if he helps me all day. But uh, I haven't done it all for such a long time. This finger here and laid it open so bad. There used to be a chef apprentice at the Wanku Brewing in Lodo here in Denver. James probably knows that place too. But I laid this open, son of a. Oh man. But they, I cut all the nerves, all the tendons, and they. Uh, those, micro, those micro surgeons are incredible. They put it all back together and it's as if nothing happened. I love to shave. I see guys out there and they just never shave. Some guys look okay like that, but other guys look like baboons or something. And I just don't understand why they would deny themselves the experience of a good shave. If I don't get any weepers from this, I'm going to have to question everything. Right now it's just so comfortable, but I am like really stoned. <laughs> Remember this song? Chicago.
Oh, damn. James got a pretty nice razor, huh? Is this Carly Simon? Whenever Amazed. I don't know why this shave is different than any other uh, DE razor shave. I don't. I'm, I'm astonished. In front of my magic potion. No sting. They call this music the oldies. This is 80s music. You know you're getting old when they have 80s music on the radio as oldies. Well, what should I use? Oh, I think since I was talking about James, I'm going to try to find again. Find Platinum. That's one awesome dude, man. I really like that guy. Alright, so that's it. Feeling human now. Ah, yeah! Got ready to knock him dead. As long as I don't do it with that finger. Okay, this is uh, Guy Solis here in Denver, Colorado, Gentleman's Edge. And uh, you guys have a good day today. I don't know when I'm going to post this, but today is Saturday, about 1 o'clock. And uh, I am stoned, and I'm feeling happy. I'm going to go out and fly my bird and you know what happened to my bird uh, I took him to this place that I always go to and he's up in a tree he just he just hunting looking around minding his own business and out of nowhere uh, at the corner of my eye I see something fly towards him and it was a big female and it, he, it the damn bird nailed Floyd and I thought the bird killed it but you know, Floyd just kind of repositioned himself back on the branch and straightened his feathers out and looked around and flew to another tree by, you know, 60 feet away. And I called him down and I looked him over and says he didn't have any, but the, the girl, the female uh, red-tailed hawk didn't even lay a single talon on him. I don't know, um, I guess, I guess she was just war warning him saying, hey, this is my hunting area, but... Uh, he was flying kind of weird there. I haven't flown him since because he's been acting kind of weird. So uh, I'm going to take him out today for the first time since that time. But uh, uh, anyway, uh, that's what's happening. But uh, you all have a, have a blessed day. And, uh, and uh, remember, time is ticking on. And, and, uh, and also, uh, every day is a good day for a shave, huh?